presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and following us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover, and every kiss and every touch you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now uh, down 138. You get the Nasdaq off 43, S&P's off 13. Gold contract up $30.80, trading at 1843 an ounce. You got silver up 75 cents, 24 dollars, 24 cents an ounce. Late sweet crude up a buck 16. $86.59 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note up nine ticks, trading 127.21. The 30-year up 25 at 154.15 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 223 ticks, trading 95.503. Euro is at 113. Yen is at 114.25. And the British pound is at 136 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your war world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's take a look at it. What do you have? What it got out here, folks, SPY, bottom line, what we have happening here is that you get to a lower low right now. Yesterday, what we did is that we did uh, 109 million shares. That 109 million shares is going into the swing point of 107. So you can see you have an expansion of volume as you're going into the swing. That being said, you get a lower low today. And you're going to have a contraction of volume. Now, the kick is going to be, can the SPY close over 455.31? Because if it doesn't, bottom line, what's going to be game here is 448. And 448 is the lowest swing, not the swing we're talking about that we that took out. Because if you, don't, if you can't get that, bottom line, it's going to build some cause and get down to that level. NDX 100, we take a look at the three Qs. What you have with the three Qs is this. Same type of setup. The difference is the Qs have already broken the lowest swing. The lowest swing in the Qs is 369.31. We hit 368.16, and we have rejected lower price. So this is going to get really interesting to see exactly what the Qs are going to do coming into the close. Because if they can't hold price, guess what? That 350, what I'm looking at, is going to be game. My take is that we're going to get a bounce first. We'll see how this shakes out, though. But if the Qs don't, don't bounce today, guess what? You're going right to 350. Gold. Gold contract finally got a bid. The thing that's wild about this gold contract, man, is like we saw silver ha happen yesterday. So what happened is that the equities got smoked yesterday, the gold equities. The silver equities weren't that bad. The gold contract didn't get smoked. Bottom line, they rejected the lower price. At the, I think it was the uh, 18 <laughs> Yeah, 1804, they rejected lower price. Bottom line, we're taking out the consolidation. You have volume behind the move. Gold contract wants to run up here and get into this uh, 1881 area. Silver, same type of setup we have with silver. Silver, you know, it stopped moving yesterday. And we have with the silver market, it's always highly volatile. You're up 75 cents. You gotta, you're blowing away the consolidations. And the silver's next leg is up there at 25.54. And if we go over to the dollar, what you're going to see inside the dollar, which, which is totally unusual here, 
you know, it's backing down, but it's not backing down that much. Now, what the dollar did do, and this is like a classic, it goes, when you break down, so the dollar, the dollar was building cars since Thanksgiving, going back and forth at highs. It looked to me like it wanted to break. It did break. And when you break down, it's just like, it's like when you break topside. When you break topside, it loves coming back out to the, to the breakout area. When you break downtown, it loves to doing the same thing. So we'll see if that was exactly what that was doing yesterday. Because it came right up to ice, gave it up. Today, it's really not doing much. It's, it's down 221, but that doesn't mean a lot. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. Note and bond market. They're both on ABC structures on the way down. Bottom line, we'll see how this baby shakes out. Uh, it broke the B point. The B point inside of the 10 year was 127.30 or 127.20 right now. And if we take a look at the USH, we take a look at the 30 year, you're gonna see the same type of setup. We, we blew away those lows. Had volume behind the move. You know, we'll see whether this, this is going to er, turn into a, a complex ABC structure. And what that means is that if it's a complex ABC structure, it means that it can go up past the B point again. You'll have light volume as you go up. Then it gives it up and gives it up in spades again. XAUHUI. There's big action out here. There's no doubt. And it looks like <laughs> the thing is crazy, man. You know, I've been doing this a long time and I've seen these moves. But when this happens, it's like, okay, what lights it on fire? Okay, I mean, you don't know. You don't know. What, and what is really intriguing is this. And is that, well, first of all, let's do the XAU. XAU is up $9.65, blowing away the consolidation. Next move up here gets you 144. That's in the XAU. And the Gold Bugs Index, what do you have? Same type of setup. Gold Bugs Index is up $18.27. And that is going after the 280. Now, let me show you something, though, because this is what's really intriguing. And this just very well, we might see a huge amount of follow through. And the reason being, we talked about a lot of these gold stocks yesterday. If you look at Anglo Ashanti, and I own these, okay, bottom line, what you're going to see is that you came downtown yesterday. Now, watch this. You came downtown. You had an expansion of volume, 5.7 million. You're going into the swing. It's like, oh, man, are you going to break down again? Okay, that's the bottom line. You're gonna break down. Bottom line, when you get large moves inside of the gold market, what I've seen so many times, folks, and it's, it's, it's wicked, there's no doubt, is that before you go, the bottom line is that they smoke these things and then it's like, okay, then you take off. And you know, Going home last night wasn't as cool as going home tonight. I can tell you that. <laughs> but you get the gist of it. And it wasn't, it wasn't just because they moved a couple dollars. It was because of an expansion of volume. But simultaneously in my own head, I was saying, you know what, man? This just might be the final shakeout before these things really take off. And we'll see whether that's it. Because they all did it. They all did it. You know, they had some juice behind the move. And then guess what? They take off like a rocket ship. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now uh, down 83. NASDAQ is down 8. S&P's off 5. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right. 
information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 102. We get the NASDAQ off 34. S&Ps are uh, down 10. E, let's take a look. EXAS. EXAS for one of the tigers out here. So exact science focused on developing, commercialized, and non-innovation um, molecule screening tests for early detection of colon cancer. Okay, so let's see. A two billion dollar company, so then and then that's interesting, man. It's a two billion dollar company, but yet they're still losing money. Man, it takes a lot of research, there's no doubt. Wow, let me see this again. Okay, so pre I see. Okay, one second. So it takes prevention, colon, the company's test is stool based DNA that identifies both pre-cancer and cancer by detecting genetic mutations in the cancer cells. Okay, so let's see what we got here. It's pretty amazing you can take that much money and still lose money. But that's what science takes sometimes. That's the bottom line. Okay, so now the question is, okay, I see what's going on here. So it came back to the breakout area. The breakout area is $70.75. And we hit $69.65 last week. So you did that with... 12 million versus 24, which is good. What I, what I would do with this, I, okay, so I believe that uh, you're probably looking to buy it, yeah, and is it the best? The, the, I would wait just a bit, because this is what you have, right? I, I, I like the setup, I can tell you that right now, I like the setup, but I, what has happened this week, it got over that little swing, you know, it got up to 84, and I still at 76, more than likely this would test one more time. And when you get the test, as long as that test is less than, you don't, you don't, when you get a test here, so this is really cool. So the breakout area is 24 million, right? Then we take a look at it. Two weeks ago, you did 11.8 million. Last week, you did 12.1. Today, this week, you know, you're going to do less because we had four days. But anyway, if it comes back down into that 69, 75, and you have a contraction of volume again, meaning less than 12 million, Bottom line, then you can be all, and you want a rejection of price, then you can be all over it. Um, but if you don't get that, don't bite because what you ha what you still have out here is that it could go to that low, the swing low that's laying out there because that's you know that is from the March low. But if you get a rejection of price right there, then what you're going to be looking for, you're going to be looking for a sign of strength. That's how that works out. 
We're going to take a look at, uh, yeah, Pan American Silver for one of the Tigers out here. What you have, folks, is this. There's ABC structures everywhere. I mean, the, I, it, it's hard to comprehend the amount of volume that we got here. You got Pan American Silver. That's up $2.18. Bottom line, you get wide price spread. It's not an ABC up because the swing point is higher. That's uh, twenty five fifty five. But you get you get big action. There's no doubt. Uh, we go take a look. Let's go take a look at Newmont. You got Newmont out here. Uh, oh, look at Newmont. Oh, isn't this pretty? Well, that's a clean ABC up. Look at this man. Okay, sixty three seventeen. And oh, good. It's a ten point A to B. That's sixty-seven dollars and eighty-seven cents. We're going after. That's the first pop. Well, watch this. This gets better because you get a whole break of the consolidation. I think close sixty-four seventy-three. Yeah, you do. You get a break of the consolidation. This is going for all-time highs, I believe. This would be really wild if this is what happens because what you had is that Newmont just wasn't doing anything. Now the real question is going to be. Do you have a monster ABC up? <laughs> Look at this. So this will be interesting if that's what you're going to get. Because if you do, you're going to get something like 75. I'm going to call it 28. That's 47. That's going to get you at... Uh, 40, yeah, it's going to get you almost $100. That's what that would be. If, and so this is what's cool, folks, okay? See, when you actually look at this, when it, this is what's so wild about what has happened in the gold market in general. It hasn't moved, but what also hasn't happened, now picture this. What we what, what you had is that Newmont was one of the dogs of the marketplace. That's, that's the reality. It wasn't moving. That being said, it, was that, it just wasn't moving. It it certainly didn't do a large pullback because when you look at this, look at this. We did a about a 48% pullback from the run that started in 2018. So 2018, it's trading at $28. Gets all the way up to the highs of last May. Bottom line, pulls back. Doesn't even do a, well, it does like a 45% pullback. This could be a monster ABC up, man. And I, you know, we'll, we'll see how it shakes out, but it's saying quite a bit. If we go at an Eco Eagle and we take a look at an Eco Eagle, I just, yeah, you're going to see the same thing. This is, these are ABC ups. That had to take out 53, 53.83, yeah, took it out. So 53.83, 47, about five bucks. That gets you, uh, 50, yeah, right where we are right now. But then, then we also just say, okay, you took out the consolidation, so then you're going higher. What's going to be, what's really interesting about this whole thing, man, is like, okay, you know, how did, what lit this baby on fire? Because what ended, what ended up happening this morning, folks, okay, if you're in front of a screen this morning, right, none of these goals were higher. That, that's, that's the real bottom line, uh, which is so cool, Okay. So, you know, you're seeing big numbers, but this morning, these, any, a lot of these stocks, and I'm talking about 7 o'clock, 7.15 in the morning, they were only up 10 cents and 20 cents. And now you're seeing, you know, $2, you know, so pr pretty wild. There's, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, 7 a.m., yes. That's what you want to be looking at if you're in the gold market. You want to go to South Africa first. You go to South Africa first, then you come right back to the United States and see what's going on in South Africa. That's kind of how I judge it almost every day. Some of the higher volume equities out here in the marketplace. You got uh, SoFi Technology. They're going to turn. They're, they're also turning into a bank. That's up two bucks. You got uh, Zinger. That's a blast from the past. That's no, it's up, up a penny. Nvidia is down five bucks. You have uh, Microsoft up $5. That was up a lot more than that. Watch Microsoft. This is going to be interesting watching Microsoft shake out, period. Yeah, see, it didn't hold price again. Microsoft, man, you know, it's great. Yeah, they bought Activision and all that, but Microsoft wants lower price. There's no doubt. And, you know, the question about inflation, yeah, it, the thing that's amazing, like, yes, gold should have took off a long time ago. That's, that's kind of where my head's at, trust me. Because inflation is real, <laughs> and 
gold is a good inflation hedge. There's no two ways about it, you know? So this might be it. And what does happen, folks, is this. These bars that we have inside the resource market today, they don't come in onesies. They come in threesies. That's how it normally works. This is the ultimate sign of strength. Wide price spread, accelerated volume. That's normally when you get one, two, three. Then the whole world gets into it. And the bottom line is that on the third, if we get that three spikes going higher, you want to be selling into that. And you just wait and you buy it back. Because that's, that, that's normally how that would shake out. The Dow Industrials right now are down 116. Nasdaq's off 40. S&P's off 11 and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be dfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 172. You get the NASDAQ off 75. S&Ps are uh, down 20. So let's go take a look at Unity Software. U-N-I-T-Y. Okay, so Unity Software, the symbol is U. Okay, so let's see. The company provides graphic tools to create, run, monetize real-time 2D and 3D content for mobile phones. The low is $76. The high is $210. They lose money. It's got a negative PE. They must lose money. No, well, they're still losing money, but they plan on making money next, well, six quarters from now, they plan on making money. Okay, so they they're taking in 1.1 billion. They're plenty, and they're growing like leaps and bounds. There's no doubt about that. 
You got the uh, United States, they're growing 10% a year. Greater China, look at that, uh, 22% a year. And, okay, so what do we have here? Hmm. You got a stock that's got smoke. That's what you have. <laughs> so let's look at this. Okay, so I can tell you right now, man, this is pretty cool because when you, when you get equities, folks, that have got smoked and they get high volume at the highs, it is something you want to keep your eye on. And you, then you just need patience, okay? So you've come back to a breakout area, 107. We hit 110. I guess it, it's, it, this, is not a, this, is a, this is a decent setup, man. The real question is, is that um, it hasn't been able to hold price yet. So what I would do, let me put this on a daily for a second. I would wait for a sign of strength. So a sign of strength, folks, is wide price spread, accelerated volume. That's when you know that it's not you and I that's coming inside the equity. That is when some large funds are coming inside the equity. That, that's, that's the reality. This doesn't have it yet. And that's what I would wait for. You, you, get a, you get a wide price spread, you get accelerated volume, awesome. Then you buy the pullback. That's how you shake this out. Let me show you something else, GBTC. Now this is really intriguing. Okay, so we talked, we've talked about this before. This is Bitcoin. Now picture this, folks. Okay, this Bitcoin trust actually owns Bitcoins. Okay? The bottom line is that it's trading at $28.56. Well, the net asset value is $38.89. It has a negative 26.5% premium today. Now, Tommy and I were talking about this this morning, and it, it, it's so intriguing to me because it's like, okay, the, the difference in this, in this ETF goes like this. This ETF, so in case you don't know this, right, what ends up happening, folks, as long as you have the funds, you don't have to be a broker dealer to buy and sell ETFs at a wholesale level, okay? The bottom line is you just have to show them that you have enough money and you can be a creator or destroyer of an ETF. The difference in a, this grayscale is that you have to hold it for six months. So that, that traps people inside, which is different. So it's like, okay, so why would you buy a Bitcoin when you could buy, if, let's just say you want to buy Bitcoin. Why would you buy a Bitcoin and pay 26% more when you could buy the exact same thing? This is where it gets interesting. And I think what's happening is this, because what happens is this, when Bitcoin goes down, this premium gets into a negative pretty quick. When Bitcoin goes up, it's either flat or it goes into a positive. So it's like, hey man, this is a nice way of getting in. That being said, <laughs> when you get a 25 to 26% net negative premium, well, guess what? Does that mean that XBT has a lot further to go down? And we'll see how that shakes out. My, my take is that, you know, 39 is game. What's this one down here? Yeah, this 39 is game. But more than likely, what we're going to see, it looks to me, let me pull this back. It looks to me like it's actually going to break 39. I'll tell you why. Because, you know, I, I talk a lot about building cars. And what has happened here is that the spike at this 39 was only one leg down on a weekly. So it's almost like you've been, we've been three weeks here. It's like this is just trying to break this to get down to 28. And if that's where we go, people are going to be really worried. Because if you break the 28, then guess what? You're going to be back to 12,000. That would be to go from go. It's bad enough going from sixty nine thousand to forty one thousand. Um, Twenty eight would be a haircut. Hey, we'll see where we'll see where it's going to shake out. That's the bottom line. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness out here today. Let's see what we have. You got Procter and Gamble putting thirty nine positive points. Microsoft twenty two. United Health nineteen. Taken away from it. Caterpillar minus 50, Goldman minus 43, Boeing minus 43, Home Depot minus 29. You know what's really wild, man? It's absolutely wild that um, the government turned around and <laughs> sold, you know, all this, you know, for the 5G. And, and then what, what you had is this, is that you had Boeing send out to all their clients that, hey, man, you know, 
this 5G is going to be a problem. And it looks to me like it's the uh, 777s that are basically having a problem or can have a problem. So there's a bunch of flights that were canceled. And it's like, okay, man, are you kidding? It, well, I'm sure the carriers are saying, are you kidding? Because the carriers have paid like $5 billion. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> they're saying, okay, now I don't want you to use it near airports. Someone screwed that thing up, man, in like a monster way, not in a small way. There's, there's no doubt. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness out here, you have Peloton up 5.5%, Pindor do up 5 uh, taken away from it. Moderna's off 6.5%, AMAT's down 6 you got Lamb off 4.7. You got Clack off uh, 3.7. And let's just get over and look at the Platinum. Platinum's got a bid here also. Platinum. Come on, baby. Where are you? Platinum. That's Spot. I'll do Spot. There we go. So you're at 10.30. It's got a two. Yep, this is on, this is on its way up to uh, 1106. You know, blew away the consolidation it's in. You have the wide price spread, and we'll see what, what kind of follow through we get. You know, the thing that's amazing to me, let's go look at the yen for a second, is that you have this without much movement inside of the uh, dollar, inside of the yen. You know, the yen is getting stronger. The yen came down 34 ticks, but, you know, we've seen better days that. The dollar has get smoked. This is what we have happening here is that you definitely have much larger players that are in the marketplace. As you can just see the volumes have exploded. Uh, we look at the GDX. That's up 226. That blew away the swing point. This GDX is on its way up to this uh, 3508. Uh, the swing point had 12 million shares. You're already down 39 million. Look at these numbers, man. These numbers are like unbelievable. You know, that, that, it's like, did everyone decide at the exact same time that that's where they're going to go? And what does happen, and I've said it many times, folks, okay, what happens in the resource market, particularly in the gold and silver market, they are very small markets. In fact, I hear a number today. Listen to this, man. This blew my mind. I didn't realize this. That if you, what is Amazon? There was a, there was a crypto guy on today, and he was, he was saying that you could take all the cryptos together and Amazon has a bigger market cap than they do. I don't know. Market cap is only 1.5 trillion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 198. NASDAQ is off 82. S&P is off 23. Let's go over to the composite, the NASDAQ composite, and take a look at this. So the composite right now, oh, look at this. This is interesting. Yeah, so the composite, so that number that I have on the Qs, folks, okay, at the, the 350, that's at October 4th level. Well, listen to this, man. This is crazy. So the composite, we're at 14,417. We're already into that bar. That, we're going to that bar, man. Whoa, baby, this is a trip. Okay, let me pull this back a bit. So we're already at the October 4th bar. So the breakout is 14,175. Right next to the breakout, man. Hey, yeah, you're coming into that bar. Let me do the NDX. That's not holding either. So we'll see where this shakes out coming into the close because what you have here is this. The Qs right now, they'd have to go up 90 cents, which they can definitely do. Because if we close here, man, we close here, you're gonna go after this low. You're gonna have to 358. It'd be easy to get the 358. So the, the high of the low is 358, the low is 350. If you really, we know 10 points is nothing in the queues anymore. You know what I mean? It's like, we did, we did 10 points uh, last Thursday. <laughs> Went from 389 to 376. Well, he did a little 13 points. And what is that? What is also happening here as we're basically coming into the close? Um, well, you have 345, 15 minutes. Yeah, you can do another 10 million. It's 77 million. Yeah, if you see an expansion of it, we're going to do more than 75 million. So what you, what you have happening now is that now you have an expansion of volume. You're not going to do 91. Because if we did 91, that would be a horror show because then you have a monster ABC down. Um, we'll see where this shakes out. Let me just see these ticks. So what happens on downtrends, folks, okay, is that you can basically... What you're looking for at turns in the marketplace is that you're looking for high tick readings. We got, we, we definitely got them yesterday. We got a minus uh, 1583, and you can't use the, the open or the close, by the way. And then we just got a minus 1580. Okay, so the way this works, if you have my book, you know the out of time in the trade, there's a whole chapter on tick readings and trying to find lows and all of this, okay? The first part of it, meaning the tick, has come into play. What happens is this. When you're looking for a low, you're looking for two tick readings that are over 1250, 1300. That's easy. We've got both of them of 1500. The first one was 50. Well, the first one was done at uh, three, 10 past 3 yesterday at f minus 1547. Then you had another one 20 minutes later at 1583. And then today, what ends up happening, bottom line, is that we just got one um, a half hour, no, at, at 3.30. So you have those in place. Then what you do next, okay, so you need three different things for bottom. Then you go into the trend. And what I'm going to look for in the trend, put this up, oh, well, no, TR, index. Uh, 
the heck is it? Trend index. Where are you? Hmm. I'm going to find this. Okay, I'm going to have to find this. Um, that's weird. It's not coming up like that. Uh, let, me do, let me do Barrick Gold, one of the Tigers first. So Barrick Gold, bottom line, great gold company, run by a great guy, knows the business, Mark Bristow in a monster way. Um, this finally took off also. This up $1.58 today, $20.45. And, you know, bottom line, the next step for this is uh, 21 bucks. Let me put this on a weekly. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So, yep, you're breaking the, you're breaking the, so, I mean, Barrick's on its way to 24 bucks. That's how this is set up. Um, you know, it, it, it's always wild, folks. When you, look, when you look back on any types of technicals, it's like, man, it's just amazing how they actually set up, meaning they're consistent. And, you know, when you're in the middle of a trade, it doesn't seem like it's consistent. But if you actually have patience and have some type of a system that you're used to over and over again, you can kind of spot them. It doesn't mean that, you know, you're, you're going to make a fortune. What it means is you're going to have more confidence that you could make that kind of money. Um, I can tell you this. <laughs> Look at this. I just picked this up. This is, so you got Royal Gold is up six bucks. That's what we needed. Let me see Franco Nevada, FNV. The stream is with dogs. They would, I mean, dogs in a big way. FN Franken Nevada is up $7. Now, so what we have happening here is that the streamers are not up as much as the rest of the equities. A lot of the gold and silver equities are up from 10, well, 9 to about 13%. The streamers are only up 5%. We want to see more than that. I can tell you that right now. Um, you know, because what ends up happening, what normally ends up happening, is that if the streamers are leading the market, which they are not right now, your probability is much higher that the contracts themselves will continue higher. Uh, what, is it, what is really going to be interesting to all of us, let's say, in the next you know, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, whatever this is, on this run, is this is where I suspect what we're going to see is that the talk will be over about Bitcoin being... Inflation heads versus gold. Good. Well, you can see it out here today. Bitcoin's down 690 bucks. Gold's up $30. That hasn't really happened, okay? But we haven't saw any real strength that I expect we're going to see in the metals. You know, now let's go to the oil because the, the oil has led this whole deal, man. I mean, you know, the, the oil was going up even prior to them having some problems in the Middle East, you know, bottom line is that this has been a straight line move. You go back to December 20th. December 20th, oil was at $69. It's $86 right now. Um, if you, um, our man, Mr. Teddy K. Stat, which is on Tommy's show on Wednesday, uh, he hit this thing like out of the park. You know, if you happen to listen to Tommy's show, you happen to listen to Teddy. When the oil market was down to $55, he was saying oil's going to 100 and, you know, he just doesn't say that. He basically brings you through the different currencies and the different interest rate structures to make that speculation, which is really cool, man. I mean, if you really want to learn a lot, that's a guy that gives a huge amount on Tommy's show on Wednesdays. Um, and it's really cool, man. I mean, because there's so many different things, folks, to learn in the marketplace. There's no way that you can learn one at a time. That's, that's the real bottom line. You know, what you try to do is you take, whether well, you're gonna take equities first, then take bonds, then take, I, if you're starting your career, what you wanna do is this, go to equities, but you wanna learn bonds, because the bonds run everything. In the bond market, it, you know, is way over the equity market in whatever, every country you're in. Stay right there, folks, come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 291. You got the Nasdaq off 138. S&Ps are down 39. And bottom line, folks, is that we're going for October 14th. Uh, that's how, October 4th, that's how this thing is set up. Can't hold price. Uh, on the SPY, what you have, you know, you, you do have a swing point of 448 in the SPY. The SPY is a lot stronger than the Qs, uh, but you can see the Qs clearly, uh, bottom line, didn't hold price. What you'll also get here is this, is that, so we're down three, uh, what we had to do with the, uh, the Qs is hold 369.31. Uh, You're at 367. This is wide open, you know, to basically get down there now. And then what you also have is this, is that you have any dips that were bought, going all the way back to October 26th, and now in a losing position. That's always a problem when you're really getting the first deep, deeper correction in a marketplace after so many years, and it's, it's there. The composite, what we're gonna see with the composite is the composite is gonna close right in the bar that I've been talking about, the October 4th bar. The composite, the top of that bar is 14,449, well, we're 100 points underneath it now. So you want to keep your eye on the composite because what should happen is this. If, in fact, the consolidation is going to be much larger, meaning down to 350, because then what you, what you have there, by the way, I believe that 400, it's like almost a 25, a 20 percent hit inside the Qs, is that if the composite stops at that area, you have a lot better identification that that's where the Qs are probably going. 
you know, and we're going to be in this area. Well, we're in the bar today. So the bottom line is that let's go back to October 4th. Let me just see this for a second, because now what you want to see is you want to see what the volume is at that particular point. So October 4th, October 4th, where are you? There it is. That's going to be easy. It's only 4.5 billion shares. So it'll blow away that level. Four, we're, we're averaging like 5 billion shares now inside the composite. So it's going to take that number out, man. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happies, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning, folks. 9 o'clock, great show. Bam! Look at him, folks.